Wow, that's incredible. That is incredible. <laughs> Greetings and salutations! So in my last video about Olga Strasheva, I mentioned how amazing the 89 Soviet team was. Today we are sticking with that theme and we are going to take a look at Strasheva's Soviet Stuttgart sister, Yelena Sazoninkova, and this is her floor routine from the 91 University Games. It was a revelation. So her music is the prelude to number two in C minor by Johann Sebastian Bach and the choreography is as artistic as the music itself. I mean, they marry each other splendidly. The Soviet choreographers were truly innovative, and that's the beauty of Soviet gymnastics. Let's get into this routine. It's one of my all-time favorites. Second place, Elena Satsunenko, but this has to be exceptional for her to win a gold medal. Her line is exquisite. This first pass whipped through a full end. Gorgeous leap sequence, the extension, the movement. Dance and tumble like she never has before. This choreography is beyond chef's kiss. That <laughs> little snake move. Increíble. You know, I'm just like gonna recreate this routine one day when I get back into fighting shape. Double back. <laughs> back handspring straddle jump to a very elegant slam step out. Prior double turn down. She needs a score in excess of 9.6 to take the lead, but still with the overall leader, Choi Kyung Hee of North Korea to go. Finishes with another double back. The expression was there, the tumbling was there, the music was exhilarating. The <laughs> smile is captivating. Oh my god, captivating indeed. I'm in awe. I mean, this is literally awesome. Like, when it comes to Sazaninkova, the saddest thing, I think, is that politics got in the way of her having any kind of shot at the 92 Olympics. Sazaninkova as well as Lashinova were both from Latvia and because the Baltic states seceded from the Soviet Union, you know, way sooner, they weren't a part of the, the Commonwealth of Independent States and they weren't eligible to be part of the unified team, they were pretty much on their own. And because it all happened, you know, so fast, the Baltic teams didn't have any way to qualify gymnasts to the Olympics. So it was incredibly unfortunate and I don't think that Yelena probably would have been a factor to make that unified team, but she wasn't even given a chance. This routine really deserved a much, much larger platform than this. You know, without YouTube, who knows if anybody would have seen this. I think anybody who's a fan of gymnastics should know about this routine. It is a routine of such impeccable finesse and precision. It's really mind blowing and it, it shows what it, what is possible. I'm gobsmacked here. <laughs> Seriously. This routine is a treasure. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you in my next one. Bonsoir and have a great day. Bye. Mwah.